I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> Decided to put that in the video for a long time. Thank you very much, Megan, for making that. You may have noticed that I'm at work today. This is because I'm not gonna be home for a very long time. I didn't know if I was gonna have time to be able to do a vlog when I did get home. So I'm doing it today at work. I'll allow you to show me around my workspace. This is what I see every day. We we don't really do a whole lot here, uh, except when people come by. I check out equipment to them, but mostly I just give people toilet paper and garbage bags and sort their mail. Why are you recording this? We all use it. This is what I have to put up with work every day, John. I want a broom, I want two rolls of toilet paper, and four garbage bags. That's ridiculous, but the customer is always right. But aside from working with residents, really the only thing I do here is sort the mail. Now, John, I'd like to read a letter to you I've been writing. Dear BNP Vending Co, I'm writing to you for the purpose of trying to acquire a refund for money that one of your machines ate but did not properly dispense of my rightfully purchased pack of peanut M&Ms. I put in 85 cents for the candy, but when I pressed the appropriate buttons, the candy got stuck on the hook, as many unfortunate candies do. Lucky for me, I had seen this scenario before. Shaking the vending machine a little would straighten things out for sure. The devil machine, however, was not aware of this friendly case scenario and did not cooperate. Though I am against the mistreatment of vending machines, I, like many others in the world, experienced a profound fit of rage when the candy did not fall loose. I even got so desperate for the candy that got on one side of the machine and lifted it up, tilting it and shaking it. You see, I've been doing these push-ups with my friend, and I've gotten pretty strong, so don't be alarmed. This too did not do the trick. I then decided to try and be crafty. I find a newspaper and roll it up into a pointer and try jamming it up in the machine to reach my candy and knock it free from its perch. That was not successful. Try as I might, the paper always bent and never reached the candy. Now quite desperate for my peanut M&M's, I went on a search in the lounge of my dorm. The search was extremely fruitful, yielding 37 cents from various couch cushions and even a set of lost keys. I planned to return these keys at the front desk, post haste. Gleefully, I ran back to the machine. You see, I had a 50 cent piece in my bag, and now I had the 85 cents needed to purchase a second bag of peanut M&M's and then acquire the candy I originally wanted in the first place. The machine accepted the quarter and dime I found, I kept the two pennies for myself, and then inserted the 50 cent piece only find that it would not fit in the coin slot. There have been many silent fits of rage and dismay in the world, but I believe mine would be among the top 10% of most silent, rageful, and dismayed. Defeated, I walked back to my room and went to sleep without my PMDM nams. I hope you're happy. Frustrated and wishing your machines took 50 cent piece coins, AJ. John, I'm sending that letter to the BNP Vending Co. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, we have spring break around the same time. I leave school March 20th. Oh, that's a Friday. Also, we bring my old computer so we can take that apart and put it together. And then it can be computer learned. Also, our friends, John and Wayne, want to start a little vlog thingy. Let's encourage them to do that because that'd be really awesome if there's other people that did this too. I know you guys both watch us and I think it's a really good idea. You should do it. And John, it's time for me to get back to my very stressful, very difficult job. <laughs> I'll see you on Monday. P.S. Are we gonna play your campaign for D&D? Do you have a D&D insider? <laughs>